Oh, boy, he popped it. Come up and let's see what you are. It's a bass. That little chunk there. Really need a net that I forgot to bring. There we go. Little fatty right there. A lot of things you can use for bait, for a lure on a fly rod like this. Use little streamer flies, little soft plastic baits, which is what I'm using right now. You do need to keep a pair of pliers handy because they will suck it down in their gullet. Nice little bass right there. And away he goes. Here's Cajun Phil and Kevin in Louisiana. Hey friends, it's so Cajun Phil with your Fox Louisiana Fish Report. I'm bringing you this straight from Las Vegas. I tell you what, we're down here for the ICAST show looking at all the new stuff for the fishing for next year and it looks good. I did make the phone calls back home, talked to Jack at uh, Delacroix at the Sweetwater Marina. Jack says right now everything east of the twin pipelines is closed but everything west is hot and heavy and they're catching lots of redfish. Matter of fact, whenever I get home next week, I plan on driving down there and bringing you folks our current report from down around the Del Delacroix, Hopedale, and Lafitte areas. Also talked to Captain Kevin Broussard just a while ago on Calcasieu Lake. Kevin says right now there's lots of redfish and speckled trout being caught, but you have to work for them. He said it's not real easy, but they hit most of them with live shrimp under a poppet cart. Talked to Tofield Bourgeois. He says still most of their areas are closed, but they got a lot of places that they can fish, and they are fishing, and they are catching fish. This is old Cajun Phil from Las Vegas saying happy fishing and may God bless. Good to you folks next week. This week on Barry's Real Fishing, we take a look at a great program from Texas Parks and Wildlife offering free fishing classes in state parks. Lydia Saldana has more. I got a fish! I got a fish! Five-year-old Audrey <coughs> just caught her first fish. She and her grandmother have gone fishing at one of Texas State Parks' free Go Fish events. It's awesome, as Audrey would say. It was wonderful. It was very uh, educational, plus it was a lot of fun. Texas Parks and Wildlife started the Go Fish program to help families reconnect with the great outdoors. We found that a lot of these young parents don't know how to fish or they maybe have fished a long time ago with a grandparent or a parent and they kind of forgot. Our state park fishing program, it's a family fishing program and we set it up in a way that parents and kids can come out and learn how to fish together. All equipment is provided and the events are free with park entry. We want it to be fun and interactive. How you guys doing today? Good. Welcome, welcome. We're seeing that parents are coming back and they're getting excited because they're getting those basic skills that they are going to need to take their kids out fishing. Five minutes until the raffle. And be these being the kids, fun. there are even some prizes. <laughs> Audrey gets to go home with proof of her catch, hopefully the first of many more to come. Let it go, okay? See, he's swimming away. For Fox Sports Outdoors, this is Lydia Saldana reporting. Stay with us, Brian Hughes is next with a report on some problems at Lake Allen Henry. But first, we have two new leaders in the scholarship division of the CCA Star Tournament. The action continues through Labor Day, so there is still plenty of time to get involved. Visit startournament.org to find out more. Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by your Texas Chevy dealers, is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. By Navionics, we start where the road ends. By Whataburger, just like you like it. And by Mercury Outboards, number one on the water. 